Hey Tularinos, I've got another quick little tool haul here. This is from a flea market called Michelangelo's Flea Market. West of Newcastle, PA. And uh, I picked up some neat things. So we'll go through them. Uh, for $20, I got this uh, Lennox handsaw. It's a very uh, stout, stiff kind of blade. I'm not really sure what it's for, if it's for cutting drywall or some other sort of panels, but uh, kind of a neat saw, not one that I have right now, made in USA. I got one of these old alligator wrenches. This is John A. Roebling's Sons Company, Trenton, New Jersey. So, pretty cool. It's a number two and a half, I think that says. On this side it does say alligator wrench. Jaws look to be in pretty good shape. I got this cool, uh, I believe this is a Babbitt scraper. Somebody can correct me if I'm wrong. But it's stout. Look at the size of it. Very big, heavy duty. I may actually have a use for that someday, so I'll pick that up. And then I got this uh, project and hand drill. I know I keep buying these things. Uh, I don't know, they're just too cool, right? There's no level on it or anything, but the, uh, the two-speed part still works. The springs and pins are still in place. Uh, it's missing a handle off of here, but uh, we should be able to make a replacement for that. The jaw is intact. It has a three-jaw chuck. And uh, hopefully I'll find some markings on it when I clean it up. And in the middle here, of course, is the HK Porter bolt cutter. I've been looking for one of these for a long time. Where the handle's not busted off, or it's not missing jaws or anything. Now these jaws are very worn and reground, and I'm not sure how to adjust it to, if I were to regrind it, to make it uh, actually usable again. But even if it's just a wall hanger, it's complete, and uh, it looks great. It's got these little... Um, parts here where it meets when it closes so I'm not sure I've seen that on some of the other ones typically they seem to be um, rotted off or something so that was pretty cool so for one two three four five items at the, the tool guy there I paid twenty dollars for all those I know right even including the HK porters normally you can't even find this in this condition for less than 50 so I was really happy with the prices uh, at that guy's uh, tables. He also gave me the screwdriver. That was the first thing I found when I went there. I picked through his little box of screwdrivers and I said, how much? He says, free. The screwdriver is free. So I said, okay, then I'm going to shop for some more stuff. Um, so let's see if that will focus. It's a champion, and you see the detail in the ferrule, how it's made of two pieces, where is it? Uh, come on. There. I can't see it on the camera out here, but hopefully it'll show up okay on the screen. But that is a wood-handled champion, of which I have two other sizes, as they are shown with that detail in my... Uh, old tool catalog and there's the size as it says it comes in so let's see what size is this looks to be about an 8 inch is there an 8 inch size yes there is so I'm on my way I think I'm gonna try to collect all those just to be able to find something in one of these old catalogs that I could afford right I uh, picked this up for my son's shop. This stuff is super handy just for uh, twisting up uh, electrical cords and things. Uh, found the Stanley Herwood. This was two bucks at another stall. Uh, Craftsman Professional. Made in USA. Small Phillips. Tip seems to be in great shape. Just needs a good cleanup. I found another bevel gauge. And it's all wood. So I thought, well that was kind of interesting. Even though, you know, the blade part is made of wood. So, 
good uh, cleanup. I mean, it's usable, but probably end up eating a wall hanger. I got um, 600 grit sandpaper. They had a whole bunch of sandpaper, but this was the finest they had. And I don't usually have a trouble uh, getting coarser stuff, but that stuff was eight sheets for a dollar. So pretty cheap. And then last but not least, I got a Powercraft Montgomery Ward drill project. This is um, drill 3 8 capacity, but I think that's not the original chuck then because that is a really big chuck. So that's probably a half inch capacity chuck on there. And it tells you the model 9207 Montgomery Ward. And uh, let's see what it says on the chuck here. Hartford, Connecticut. Okay, Jacob's Chuck, Hartford, Connecticut, made in USA. 6'3, here we go. 633C, yeah, capacity half inch. So it's not the original uh, Chuck on that drill. So I might have to repurpose that Chuck. <laughs> Maybe my drill press could use a new Chuck. But that was a dollar. That was a dollar. I mean, the, the trigger's busted, it's a project, but for a dollar, it was worth it just for the chuck. All right, that'll do it for uh, this little flea market haul. Hope you enjoyed watching, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.